Hello, hello YouTube. In this video, we're going to be looking at the variations of liquid. So liquid was developed by Shopify, but it is open source and it's been used in many different applications. So there are different versions of liquid. For this video series that I've been producing, we are specifically looking at Shopify liquid. Shopify Liquid is slightly different and has additional objects that you can use from other versions of Liquid, such as Jekyll. So let's take a look at the differences between Shopify Liquid and Jekyll Liquid specifically. Okay, so as I mentioned, there are different variations of Liquid. It's a very flexible and safe language and it's used in many different environments. So for that case, Liquid is used across different frameworks websites and platforms so it can be used in many different ways the base liquid which is what we're looking at here on this page is an open source templating language that was created by shopify and it's used by many different parties now there is shopify liquid which is built on top of this base so everything available in the basic liquid here that was developed by Shopify, but is also used by Shopify in sort of their own version of Liquid. So they've added to Liquid. So they have like a more feature rich version of Liquid. Okay. So Liquid has its base or its core, and then Shopify has a whole bunch of methods and objects and things that we can use on top of the basic Liquid templating language. So to work with Shopify Liquid, you would head over to Shopify's website and under their Shopify developer portal, you have all the documentation around Shopify Liquid. So in Shopify Liquid, we have things like objects such as products that you wouldn't have in the open source Liquid templating language alone. And we have different types of filters that you could use in Shopify. We have different tags that you would potentially be able to use in Shopify. So everything is added to, I guess, in Shopify, if you want to think of it that way, to have more functionality and features. So to learn the open source core of Liquid is a great start. And that's what we've been covering so far in most of our videos. But as we go on, we're going to dive deeper into some of the specifics of Shopify so that you can really use Liquid to build out front end templates in Shopify. Now, Liquid is used by other libraries and frameworks as well. It's actually the core to a static site generator called Jekyll. So Jekyll is another open source project that uses Liquid as its templating language, meaning the templates that you create in Jekyll are built in Liquid. Now Jekyll also has a slightly different version of Liquid and it might not always have everything in core. They only update their core version from the open source Liquid version whenever they feel like they need to make a new major release. Or, or they need to incorporate features at a certain time, but they won't necessarily keep it up to date all the time. So there may be new features in the open source Liquid that are not yet in Jekyll's version of Liquid, but there's also new features in Jekyll's version of Liquid that will not be in the core because Jekyll has added some of their own tags and filters and stuff like this. Jekyll is very popular and, and used for GitHub pages. So anytime you want to host a website on GitHub, Jekyll is one of the easier ways to do so. And, and that's really popularized the Jekyll static site generator. So liquid, as you can see, can be used in many different places. Those are just three different examples, but it's also used in other places for templating. So Shopify being one of the major uses of liquid and how you have to write all of the template languages or all of the, sorry, templates in Shopify using this liquid templating language. It's very important that we understand the Shopify's version of liquid. If you're looking specifically to work on Shopify development, that's all I want to talk about on the different variations of liquid. Thanks for sticking with me through another one of my liquid tutorial videos. If you enjoyed this video, or if you have feedback, please leave a comment down below because I love to hear from you guys. Don't forget. If you want to stay up to date with the latest tutorial videos that I'm releasing, you can subscribe. And if you really enjoyed this particular video, hit that thumbs up button on the video. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you in the next one.